morning guys today again I'm going to the market to buy chicken and fish uh, my baby has become like me she has become pure non-vegetarian every alternate days you will see me going to the market to buy either fish or local chicken and uh, I need to go early in the morning because if you go in the afternoon or after say 10 a.m. you will not get uh, the fresh fish I mean the live fish but in the morning if you go you will find the live fish and I don't feed my baby uh, the boiler chicken I always give her uh, the local chicken the desi chicken that's what they call here and since I'm a regular customer what they do is uh, the kg of per kilo of the local chicken is 400 but the owner gives me by 350 so that's a good thing about me so if anyone of you watching my blog to, uh, from my area you can contact me if you want 50 rupees discount no 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 one kilo one kilo do close friend hai aap come karo come karo one kilo karo you get the local chicken chicken here Kidnava? and you want to see banana? See what is this? Banana. Banana. Very good banana for you. Now go, go, go. Let it wash. To you, Kaka. Happy birthday to you, Kaka. I'm a bottom spread. Yet, 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 yet,
What did daddy make for you? Swing swing. Welcome. Daddy is busy here watching cricket. So it's 5:20 in the morning. All set to go. I am waiting for my vehicle. All the people in my complex they are sleeping so peacefully. It's very tough to get up early in the morning, especially on winters. But I have no option. I'm waiting for my cab to come and pick me. I can see the focus of the vehicle light. He is here. So let me get down and see you guys later. Good morning. I'll be flying too after a moment like that aircraft. What a lovely sunrise, new day, new beginning. You, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through 
I got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay it down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my head So after a long day, I've reached Delhi Finally, I'm back to my hotel room in Delhi. I had a very long day today. I flew all the way today from Kolkata to Delhi and from Delhi to Srinagar, Srinagar to Delhi. I started when the sun was in the east and now the sun is towards the west. Look at the view from my hotel room and I can see some peacock also right now. I'll just zoom and show you guys. I hope you can spot the peacock. It's over there. It's really far so I can't show you clearly but let me just try to zoom more see so guys do you know what does the cabin crew do after reaching hotel room after a whole day flight they do this see you guys later <clears throat> hi guys i'm having dinner right now actually i overslept Around 11 p.m. my wife called me up. I was thinking why did my wife call me up and disturb my sleep early in the morning but when I saw the time it was already 11 p.m. and I'm the last one to come for the buffet. Everybody has taken the dinner and they have gone and it was almost close. Half of the buffet is already closed so I just took whatever it was left. Just soup, dal bhat and some roti tandri roti and sweet dish but the staff and all here are so kind enough they said like they'll get me chicken so I'm waiting for that I told them whatever is left just give it to me whether chicken or vegetables so the staff they said like they'll try to get to me oh sir ne mujhe leke aa gaya thank you so much sir chicken chicken thank you so much so sweet of sir <laughs> he got me chicken palak chicken <laughs> wow this is ni nice see he got me so much of uh, palak chicken so my dinner is set Thank you my wife for calling me around 11 p.m. Otherwise I could have slept hungry. Not hungry actually. I could have ordered from the a la carte in the room. But today I could have slept just having dal, rice and roti and soup. But the staff here, they were so kind enough to give me this palak chicken. This is like home cooked chicken. Very delicious. Last bite, sweet dish. I'm going back to the room now. <coughs> there, thank you. So I nearly missed my buffet dinner tonight. Good that my wife called me up. So it's good to have a wife who can wake you up.
see how I slept after I came back from the flight. So I'll just have this cup of hot water and I'll edit some of my videos of my blog. Then I will doze off to sleep. So I need to switch on this heater because the room is so cold. I don't know how do I own this heater. I'm gonna use this heater for the first time. Let me just take it to the socket. I hope I'll not burn down the hotel. So what does the instruction instruction says? I don't know what this is. I don't know what is this. Oh, it's, the steps are here. Here are the steps given here. How to switch on the heater. It says switch on the Usha heater convector by keeping it in the upright position. This is in the upright position. Keeping the thermoset to the max position. Okay, let me put it to the maximum. <clears throat> Number three is once the desired room temperature is reached, rotate the thermoset knob back until it cuts off. Okay, I have to rotate it back. Then the USA heater convector will now automatically cut in and cut out to maintain the desired temperature. All right, too much of education. Let me just try. Let me do the practical thing. Too much of theory. God help me. All the best. Wow. It's switched on. I'm feeling so cold. I think I have to take this heater like this, this way, straight to my throat. Ah, feeling nice. Wow, I love winter. Actually, I'm having a hot cup of uh, hot water. I've switched on the heater and I'm just taking the, you know, the hot air from the heater straight to my legs. So, I'm really enjoying right now the hot air. Away from the house, I really miss my wife and my daughter. But sometimes I do feel that, you know, this kind of rest is also required because you are busy whole day, whole week in the house, running around for the household works, running around after the baby. Sometimes you require rest also. So I'll enjoy this time, giving time to myself. But I feel pity to my wife because she have no option 24 into 7 she's walking in the house she's more busy than me many people they say like you know the housewife and like whenever people they ask what does your wife do they say it's, she's just a housewife no 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 she's not just a housewife she has so many responsibilities in the house uh <clears throat> the work that we do in the flight compared to our work this is nothing so it's really busy from morning till uh, night. In the morning she'll get up and then like she will be prepare breakfast for the baby. And she has to, you know, change the diaper, give her a bath, feed her. Again, make lunch for the baby, make her sleep. She'll get up, prepare the snacks for her. Again, you know, take her out. Then again, feed dinner. So whole day. You know, change diaper and at night baby gets up, she has to feed. So whole day, whole night my wife is busy, you know. <clears throat> so I really appreciate my wife. If you are watching my blog, usually my wife doesn't watch my blog because she is very busy. She doesn't have time to watch my blog as well. It's been, I guess, uh, one, two months now that I've been blogging. And I've put around five, six videos. But... I don't think even one video my wife has watched. So, if you are watching this blog, my wife, I love you. Whenever I come to a room, I take a good rest or I'll be in the phone. That's it. I never switch on the TV in my room. But right now, I'm enjoying the heater. It, it, it is releasing such a hot air straight to my legs.
and I'm really having a feel of winter right now with a hot cup of water guys right now I just want to share a small clip uh, for the people who wants to be a cabin crew in Air India or Vistara Air Asia Indigo or Spice Z uh, if you are interested to become a cabin crew like me you want to join airline and you want to know you know what are the uh, criteria or qualifications to be a cabin crew I just want to share a small video clip not in details if you want in details for people who are interested you can comment and let me know I will I'll let you know I will inbox you I will help you to you know uh, how to crack an interview I'll help you to you know the tips I'm gonna share the, the tips uh, what you have to do how you have to make your bio data and uh, how you have to go through all the process anyways like first of all I want to clear this myth about uh, joining an airline people they say like to join an airline you need to have a very good command okay uh, over English you need to have an accent or uh, like British accent or you know American accent uh, you don't have to have an, any accent okay you just be normal be yourself the only thing the HR the interviewer they look you know on you is that you your communication has to be clear okay um, everybody has their MTI you know influence in you know mother tongue influence in them so I also have a mother tongue influence you know I need to work it out and everybody has to work it out in fact you know so they are not looking for an American, you know, uh, candidate or or a British candidate. They're just looking for Indian, you know, candidate in India. Okay, so it's obvious that you have a Indian, you know, MTI in you. Okay, they will ignore that. The only thing is that you have to have uh, a clear communication. You know, your Hindi, be it your Hindi or your English. You know, when people when you speak, people has to understand like as I'm speaking to you you understand whatever I'm saying to you right that's that's enough so do not worry about your MTI you just have to work it out okay and even if you don't have an accent like you don't have to pretend okay you don't have to say a water in water okay just say water that's it so be yourself be genuine in the interview okay uh, keep on checking the websites like if it's Air India you have to check www.airindia.in or in, in Indigo go indigo dot in you know every airline they have a website uh, you just go in the search engine in the Google and see their web websites you will see they'll give you the updates okay whenever the interview is gonna happen uh, when when there's when they're gonna conduct an interview so just go to their websites in the genuine websites do not go uh, to other search search engines many of them are fraud okay they will ask money from you in advance and many people they are falling into prey to this kind of trap so please do not fall into trap just go to the genuine website keep checking their websites they will post if there is any interview coming and in case if you guys are interested to be a cabin crew and if you know when the interview is happening you know and uh, I'll also let you know just comment me in the box in my comment box and then I will let you know if there's any interview coming up in the near future and because of COVID right now there's no interview happening uh, but if there's any interview coming up I will let you know and so what is the qualification to be a cabin crew you just need to have uh, 10 plus 2 degree okay 10 plus 2 qualification I mean not a degree during our times you know in back in 2012 the airline they were recruiting only the graduates or people who has done 10 plus 2 with 2 years of uh, experience in the hospitality sector in the customer service sector so right now but the criteria has been changed uh, the qualification has come down from graduate to 10 plus 2 now if you are uh, a 10 plus 2 student you can also sit for an interview be it any stream art, science or commerce you can sit for the interview uh, of a cabin crew and secondly you should not have any scars in your face or in your body there should there shouldn't be any visible tattoo in your body if you have any tattoos you know get rid of it so guys if you are curious to know about the height the age and the weight required to be a cabin crew uh, you just have to go to the websites of the airline 
where you're gonna sit for the interview because every airline they have different different conditions when I joined in Air India in the back 2012 the minimum height required to for the male cabin crew was 5.7 height okay 5 feet 7 inch uh, but I entered in the airline uh, in the ST quarter in the schedule track quarter so in the schedule track quarter they have concession of height and they have concession of uh, years as well age I mean I, I am 5.6 the minimum height required was 5.5 so I qualified in that so but as far as I know the minimum height required for the cabin crew generally is for the male cabin crew is 5.7 and for the female is 5.3 uh, or 5.4 so you need to go to their websites wherever you're gonna sit for interview in the uh, website they will be giving you the details you know the height and the weight and the age required and you need to pass uh, you need to have a 10 plus 2 uh, certificate so to be a cabin crew you just need to be blameless with no visible scars or tattoos you need to uh, have qualification 10 plus 2 of any stream be it arts com commerce or science you know you need to have a good communication you know be it Hindi or English okay normal okay you, you need, I, like I said you don't have to have any accent be normal to yourself uh, usually the HR the people who's gonna take your interview the only thing they look on you is you know your honesty you know? whether you're genuine or not do not fake it out okay be yourself in the bio data when you make in the resume when you make it you know don't write you know hi-fi you know words or the activities that you don't do and you know you write horse riding as a hobby or you know mountain climbing as a hobby no just be normal okay if you like playing cricket football or basketball or badminton just write you know whatever you require because if they ask some game rule okay of the particular hobby that you have written you will be caught so be normal you know be genuine and be normal okay at the same time be diplomatic okay do not pour out everything you know when I say that you need to be honest doesn't mean that you know you need to pour out everything you know uh, you need to have I uh, you know some you need to draw the lines and you need to be diplomatic okay uh, but like I said be honest okay in the in my interview uh, we had three rounds of interview first of all they had the GD round they, 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 we call it group discussion round where they will keep around 20 to 25 people in one group and they will give a topic okay of the current issues maybe they will give a topic of the pollution or the COVID uh, or the or, so you need to have a general knowledge of the present situation so they will give you one topic and where you need to you know discuss on that you need to have debate on that you know you can speak in favor or you can speak against of the uh, topic that was given to you by the HR so they will give you around 15 to 20 minutes uh, to the 20 or 25 people group of people and in this 15 minutes you know you need to speak okay you need to uh, uh, you need to wait and you need to you know speak up speak out your heart okay if you stay quiet 15 minutes will be over and the interview is over so you not get the time to uh, put forward your points so uh, wait for the right moment to speak be it favor or be it in against okay so uh, the reason why I was recruited IT you know uh, the interviewer okay he saw you know a genuine leadership in me I will tell you what happened in my interview okay I was not faking it out uh, actually we were around 15 no around 20 people in the first run of group discussion where they have given you know the topic called you know uh, it was like the importance of aviation in present situation so we spoke in that topic okay I also put forward my point so everybody in fact all the 19 of us we have you know given our, our points and the time was getting over but I saw one guy whom I never knew okay I met him for the first time in the interview he was not speaking anything he was very quiet and he was afraid he was you know afraid to put forward his point so I just observed since I've already given out my points and I was observing that guy okay he was a 
local guy from Nagaland. So he was not speaking. So in the middle of the conversation, what I did is that I stopped everybody. Okay. So I stopped everybody and I said like, I said exactly like this. I said like, uh, guys, since we all have given out our points and we can see right now a brother here sitting, he has not given forward his point and the time is getting over. I guess we should give him the time also to speak forward. Okay. So everybody was quiet and the guy spoke. And I think, you know, that was, that, that came from my heart, okay? I didn't pretend to get a favor from the, you know, or sympathy from the HR. It just came out from my heart, okay? So the guy spoke, he gave forward his point, but he was not selected. I was selected for the, you know, group discussion round. Around 20, around, uh, among 20 of us, around 4 or 5, we were selected for the next round. So, what I want to say is that the HR, okay? they see uh, honesty in you the genuineness in you whether you're faking it out or whether you're genuine they know it okay so because in the group discussion round uh, we had one fellow okay uh, one candidate he was very good he had a good, very good command of English and he had a very good accent as well and he was speaking a lot okay he has I, I thought he, that guy for sure he will get selected but you know in my surprise you know he was not selected so, so it is not about much speaking, okay? You, you let your words be seasoned with salt, okay? Uh, speak to the point and be genuine and be honest, and that is what the HR will look for, uh, on you. And the next uh, round we had was a uh, personal interview round. In the personal interview round, they will be asking you the general knowledge. So have a good, you know, knowledge about the present current situation uh, read GK okay be aware of the current you know uh, situation uh, you can get some books and all from the store and then like uh, of the current affairs books and all read on that because some questions will come from that also and after the PI interview round I, I cleared and will have medical done and in the medical round there is a toughest because they will be checking each and every part of your body you know literally they will check your eyes they will check your blood pressure they will check your blood they will check your lungs they will check your kidney they will check your urine okay they will check your ear everything okay when you join the airline the company will you know send you for the medical complete medical checkup okay so you need to be, you need to stay fit uh, and it is not only well uh, sitting for an interview you need to go for the medical checkup it's not like that every after two years we have a thorough medical checkup so if you guys are thinking to be in the airline uh, stay healthy and fit okay you need to love your body uh, don't consume don't drink and eat whatever you want so maintain yourself and uh, your height and your weight your BMI should be you know normal you shouldn't be over skinny or you shouldn't be over fat so even me I'm getting a little bit of weight and they reduced okay but okay I'm under BMI as of now and hey guys a very important uh, information I want to give you if you are uh, looking a job in the airline and if you want to be a cabin crew you know I will advise you not to go to any academy or institute where you know they will charge you one lakh or two lakhs of rupees you know for the th three months and six months of course and where they will give you a word that you know they will give you a placement you know 100% placement job in the airline nothing like that okay it's all in you okay the academy or the institute will not give you a job at the end of the story you need to face the interview you need to impress the HR you need to you know crack the interview it's not the institute or the academy okay so don't spend you know uh, lakhs of rupees in the institute instead of you know going to to that kind of institute you know in the house you know now since you have access uh, access over the internet there's so many you know tips uh, like wherein they will teach you how to you know crack an interview just groom yourself okay groom groom yourself uh, eat right stay healthy you know take care of your skin and then like exercise don't go and spend so much of money your parents money in the institute because I have seen many people they go for you know in some kind of institute in a way they promise 
that they will give you a job in the airline and at the end they and, and at the end okay they end up working in the hotel or in the restaurant or you know in the ground job in the airport in the ground job not in the flying so uh, I will not say those instead are fake okay but uh, what I mean to say is that not required okay so groom yourself in the house and then like go for the interview all the best uh, yeah and what else uh, that's it okay I don't want to make this video very long if you want to know more about you know how to join a into into airline you know, like I said you can comment on my you know or inbox me and I will let you know okay for sure guys I will sleep now thank you so much for showing so much of love in my new YouTube channel I'm really surprised and mesmerized to see all the views comment and the likes and the subscriptions subscriptions on my new YouTube channel and I'm learning I'm new and feel free to suggest me to give you valuable ideas and uh, comments you know how I, I can improve my blog and yeah that's all for to, uh, tonight uh, have a good night race bye